Camp Ndovu has the run of 35,000 hectares of the Felhofonden Game Reserve in Limpopo. It's a luxury camp with the focus firmly on wildlife. These malaria-free plains in the Waterberg are where the team offer an up-close Big Five experience that's hard to match. I love how playful the cubs are. This, this is our Western Pride. Um, so there's two females here and this male is part of the Southern Pride as well. So every week he travels down south and he's got another couple of cubs down south as well. So there's two younger cubs here and two more older cubs. So basically he's got three wives. He does. <laughs> How safe are safari walks? Safari walks are really safe. You know, we don't go and walk into a pride of lions. We try and tend to walk away from them. But, you know, we do carry the rifle with us just in case we do come across something that's unexpected. The most interesting things is being charged by a buffalo or something like that. It always adds to your day. <laughs> the ban on private vehicles inside the reserve and the limited number of guests make you feel this is all for you. Better still, these animals have never been hunted so they offer a wildlife encounter true to how these creatures behave naturally. The wild beasts have got a very good sense of smell, which they can smell in a distance if the predators are coming, especially when the wind is blowing to them. And the zebra, they've got a very good sense of eyes. So what they're doing is the wild beasts, they can pick up the smell and they make that sound like this. If the zebra, as you see, they will lift up the head to try to look around what is the wild beast smelling. So what I've learned so far is that all the animals work together and they show different signs when there's danger, but I'm quite scared where I am right now. So yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> While guests take in the splendor, the team springs a pop-up breakfast in the wild. Chef, what have you prepared for us today? Uh, we've prepared some croissants, some cheese, skewers, yogurt with the honey. Well, it's my first breakfast in the bush, so I'm quite excited. The best lychees, bananas, pineapples, mangoes, pawpaw and nuts are grown nearby, so the first meal of the day is as fresh as it comes. The idea is to stay in touch with the natural bounty of the area without compromising on comfort. Okay, so Camp Adobe is actually one of the first lodges that was built in Valkhofonen Game Reserve in 1995. And Valkhofonen actually means well-founded in Dutch. So we called it Camp Adobe because it was called Adobe Lodge in the beginning and we didn't want it to be called a lodge, we wanted it to be more of a safari style camp. What atmosphere and environment were you trying to create with all the refurbishments? We try and keep our ethos across the portfolio, the residence portfolio, which is our chandeliers that we're known for, and the antique silverware collections and the Persian carpets that are throughout. But we've kept the safari style feel in the, in the property as well. I can't wait to see for myself, shall Perfect. we? Perfect, let's go and have a look. Oh, I see what she meant by grand chandeliers. Yeah, and our Persian carpet and our cut glass crystal and the King Edward silver design cutlery that we use with the antique collection that's throughout the residence portfolio that we keep. And this was actually the original part of the building and we added on the extra decks that take you out to the river. So the I love how you house. mixed modern with classic. And that's why we went for a camp instead of a lodge. So this is the original bar that came with the property with its railway sleeper countertops and the railway sleeper backing that's, that we've used as the display counter for the bar. And we've added these wicker basket chairs over here. And if you're feeling cold at night, we'll light the fires for you. You can come put your feet up on the couch and make it your home away from home. And I love that you still incorporated the animals from the reserve. So these are animals that have actually been seen around the reserve and it's not often that you see a lion in a, in a wild string tree, <laughs> especially a lion cub. The average temperature leading into the new year is a perfectly agreeable 23 degrees. And there's game viewing even when you're swimming. I love how the deck also incorporates that safari feel. Yes, we actually extended the deck when we bought the lodge. We extended the deck right to the river so the guests can sit on the river and actually be one-on-one -on -one with the elephants when they come and drink. Speaking about the elephants and animals, how likely are you to spot the game? From here, you're really lucky. This morning we had a herd of about 20 breeding elephants that came through and at night the buffalo and the rhino tend to come through. The attention to detail in design is immaculate, but not overdone. Even the outdoor spaces are opulent, but it never feels too formal. You are so blessed to work in a place where you experience so many beautiful things on a daily basis. Yeah, sometimes when we are in the view deck like this, we have a regular friends that comes and visit us, which is an elephant, some impalas, some zebras, some hot dogs, baboons, which sleeps on these trees, which is our main accommodations for them. The small number of guests accommodated allows you the freedom to relax in the recreational spaces as if it's only you here. 
And when you do want me time, the sweets are the answer. Oh my, my own private villa. Yeah, so privacy was of paramount importance to us, hence the privacy walls. You got your own private plunge pool and then your private game viewing deck from your own room. I really love that you can see the animals. I'm seeing a warthog right now, right outside the room. Yeah, and the elephants normally come here and they'll have like a nice mud bath here in the mud in front of you. Oh so my. hopefully they'll come through a little bit later. And I see exactly what you meant by having a luxurious space, but still keeping it homely. Yeah, so we still kept the safari feel like even in the rooms. I mean, you got your gas fireplace, a four-posted bed with the animal pillows scattered around and the railway wooden sleeper tops as well for the mini bars. Warren, there's so much to enjoy in this room and I can't wait to just enjoy it in peace. It looks beautiful, so I'm going to see you later. Perfect, enjoy. Okay. While the bathroom has what you need, there's no better climate in the world to head outdoors for a bath or shower under African skies. This is an unexpected find. I cannot wait to have a bath there. I'm like a kid in a candy store and a whole shower just for me. There's nothing better than this actually. If you're keeping up your fitness routine while on holiday, they've got you covered with a fully kitted gym looking out over the bush. But if it's relaxation you're leaning towards, then the spa and expert therapists offer irresistible spoiling. This is beautiful. Oh, this thank is you. <laughs> Welcome to our spa. And then the menu at the spa, we have Swedish massage, hot stone, Soul of African condition and African masse, back, neck, and shoulder. The wealth of indigenous natural remedies from Limpopo is another feature of these treatments. I'm using marula oil, which is to reduce the tension muscles and the sore muscles. So just relax and let these experts work their magic. I love my job. <laughs> With evening comes the best of a seasonal menu. This being a renowned province for beef and game, there are few better places to be banting. Ayanda was amazed to find Chef had sourced fresh fish, but it's what you come to expect here. Kamzovu is more than just a wilderness experience, but the ultimate African experience. From the massages to the great food to live for, the great outdoors, the animals and everything about it. It is your new home away from home. Cheers to Kamzovu. It's a first-class escape where in complete luxury you can enjoy a classic African safari.